let's look at the division of a line segment. So if we have a line segment and we want to split it into a number of parts, dividing by two we use the midpoint. We have to do something very similar to that if we're dividing it into further lengths. We could divide it into three, four, six, doesn't really matter. What I'm going to show you with this uh, division of a line segment in terms of a midpoint. So we're going to have this A value here. And A is going to be the center between x1 and x2. Now, the distance between x1 and, and a is measured by d. Now, if we're trying to find out what the d value is, what we would do is we would take and make d equal x2 minus x1 all over 2. Because we're dividing it into 2, that's where that 2 comes from. So we take x2 we minus x1 and divide it by 2, and that's going to give us this length, d. Now, if we're trying to figure out what a is, though, a, or the value of a, is going to be equal to our x1 coordinate plus that d value, whatever that d value is. That's how we could find that coordinate of the, of a, or the x-coordinate of a. Now, we can extend this, and that's if we're trying to find it in terms of two points, or halfway in between. We can extend this to any length, any number of lengths, by just changing the denominator. x2 minus x1, and we divide it by n, where n is the number of lengths. And once we find that d value, then we just add it to the x-coordinate each time. And we kind of do it on a step-by-step -step basis. Let me show you what I mean in, in an example. So we have determined the coordinates of a point that divides a line segment with endpoints 0, negative 1, and 3, 8 into three parts. So we have a line segment. And we're going to have a line. And let's just do a little sketch here. And we'll say that down here is a up here is B, and there's going to be a line that splits them, or a line down the middle, and we're going to split this into three parts. I'm just doing a sketch here so it doesn't have to be accurate, so something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our A coordinate, which is 0, negative 1, and we want to find out how many steps or how many x values we have to move over in order to get to that next coordinate, how far over in x. And once we find how far over in x, we're going to figure out how far over in y, etc. And we're going to have this sort of looks like steps where you're moving up some y value and we're moving over some d in the x. Let me just go back to black here. This is going to be the distance we're moving over in the x, and this is the distance we're moving in the y. When we're using that formula, that d is going to equal x2 minus x1 all over n. In this case, n is going to be 3, because we have three lengths. So let's figure out what this distance in x is going to be. Well, let's just be specific here, and let's call a1 and b2. So we're going to take 3 minus 0, divide it by 3. That's going to be 3 over 3, which is going to equal 1. So we're going to add 1 to our x1 coordinate to get to our next step. We're going to do the same formula for dy. We're going to take y2, which is 8, minus y1, which is negative 1, divide it by 3, which is 9 over 3, which is 3. So that tells us that if we're going from A to B to B, we take our first coordinate, which is 0, negative 1. And to get to the next one, we're going to take 0, and we're going to add 1, which is our dx. And then we're going to take negative 1. And again, we're going to add our dy 
to find that point. Where this is just dx and this is just dy. So the point actually becomes 1 and 2. And now we repeat that pattern to get our next coordinate. We add 1 and we're going to be at 2 and 5. And if we add it again, we should be at our end point. We'll get to 3 and 8. And that's just splitting this up into those coordinates.